All right, let's try this lab, guys. Now, this lab has been giving me so many goddamn problems for the longest. And I just seen that Cyberry updated their interface or whatever. And usually when they update or they're updating their interface, it um there it it messes with the labs for some reason. So I want to see if I can get through it tonight with y'all on here. Oh, I got to sign in. I want to see if I can get through it. And um, if we can complete it together and you guys can see this victory with me. So I'm so happy that I finally completed that lab. For Daryl Gibson. Super happy. Look at all this I have to complete. Okay, so let's start this one. All right, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Confirming devices and provided I pre-range and create a target list. Run a vulnerability assessment. Perform risk assessment on findings and determine mitigation actions. Review previous vulnerability audit findings, find out vulnerability audit report. So this is what we're going to be doing tonight. And then there's a scenario. You recently retired the IT department's manager's logs. The new manager determined a vulnerability assessment has not been performed on the company systems in two or more years in order to help you get used to the process of performing an automated vulnerability assessment. You have been assigned a small number of systems to tackle as your first audit. So we're gonna be using Nmap to perform discovery scans and to see which ports on those systems uh, respond to scanning activities. And then we're gonna use OpenBOSS to perform initial vulnerability assessment on the systems you have found in, your, in the scanning. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And it says you have been giving the 192.168.0.0 network to perform a vulnerability audit assessment on to make this run a little smoother. You decide to run Nmap and identify all the systems attached and powered on in the IP range provided. Once you have those addresses, you can then create a target list file using the vulnerability scanning tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not familiar with Cybrary and how they run their lab in the Cybrary Pro. They give you like a lab environment and then they give you the instructions at the bottom, if you could see it here. So the username is root, whoops, and then the password is tour. Sign in. You know what I should have done? Y'all, I'm going to go and take this off, and then I'm going to come back, because this is going to make me so red. All right, so I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to shut it off, and then I'm going to come back. 